Hello, my name is Ken Everhard. I'm the sales manager on the commercial truck side for Good Tire Service. The purpose of this video is to give you a virtual tour of our retread plant in Catanning, Pennsylvania. Now let's head on over to the initial inspection station and we'll get started. It should be noted that when we grab a casing of yours, first thing you notice is we're putting a barcode on the side of that casing. That will help us track your casing from the minute we pick it up through every process of the retread plant and all the way back to you. First, we're gonna start with the initial inspection machine. This is where our trained operator starts with the visual inspection of the casing, placing it on a spreader machine to get a thorough look at it. The operator starts by inspecting the sidewall, the inner liner, and the bead area on both sides. He then moves to the crown area to check for rocks, nails, or screws. Anything found is marked and tagged for the repair station, which is later on in the process. After the visual inspection, an electrical inspection is then done, which finds punctures and injuries not visible to the naked eye. This is done by metal fingers that travel along the inner liner of the casing, arcing when a hole or injury is found. The operator stops the machine and marks those areas for repair. If anything is found during this process that cannot be repaired, the tire will be marked to be sent back to the customer. Next, we'll do the Shirography machine. Shirography is a leading edge technology produced by Bandag that uses a laser to take images of the casing while under vacuum pressure. These images are then compared by a computer to images of the casing in its natural state, identifying areas where casing components are stressed or separated. The casing is scanned bead to bead so flaws in any part of the casing can be detected. From Shirography, we then move on to the buffer. The buffer is used to remove old tread rubber and to create a clean and smooth surface for the new tread rubber to adhere to. Bandag technology allows the station to recognize ideal buff specifications based on the casing brand and type, which is scanned in prior to the buff operation. After the casing is buffed, we move on to the skiving station. During this step, the operator will remove any steel cord material that has been damaged by rocks, nails, or other penetrations. The operator will also remove any rusted steel cords. Skiving ensures such defects do not worsen, possibly resulting in retread failure. After the skiving takes place, it then moves on to the repair station where any injuries that are larger are handled. That would include bead damage, crown injuries, shoulder and sidewall injuries, and splits. We use Bandag specific repair materials designed for use with Bandag tread products to ensure repairs remain for the life of the tire. The next step in the process is where we apply the cushion gum. The cushion gum is a thin layer of uncured rubber that's applied to the buff surface of the casing. It fills in any sky valves made earlier in the process and prepares the surface for the new tread to be applied. Once the casing is cured, the cushion gum helps create an unbreakable bond between the casing and the new tread. After the cushion gum is applied, it then goes to the building station. In this step, pre-cured application-specific tread patterns are applied to the casings. The Bandag building machine automatically measures the tread to ensure it's applied to the casing correctly. The ends of the tread are then spliced together and temporarily stapled to hold in place during the curing process. The tread is then stitched to the casing to remove any trapped air. Once the tread's applied, we go on to the enveloping station. And that's where a flexible rubber envelope is applied to the tread and the casing to conform the shape of both. This envelope causes uniform pressure to be applied to all tire surfaces during the curing process. Once the casing is wrapped with the envelope, Tire rings are installed and the envelope is vacuum tested to ensure an airtight seal at the beads. We then move on to the curing station where vacuum lines are attached to the envelopes to keep a constant pressure during the entire curing process. The chamber is closed and casings cured for a specific amount of time at a specific temperature. Bandag uses the lowest curing temperature in the industry, which is easier on the casing, allowing for multiple retreads. The next step after the product is cured is we bring it to our NDT machine 
This is actually a step that Good Tire has put into the process above and beyond what Bandag requires. It allows us to ensure all repairs were done properly and that nothing was missed along the way and results in increased quality control. Finally, we move on to the final inspection station where the finished product is inspected to ensure all processes were followed correctly and the customer's needs were met. Tire is visually inspected from the inner liner out to the sidewalls and the crown areas. After the tire has been inspected, it will be painted with weather resistant paint, branded and tagged with customer information, at which point it's sent back to the stores to be delivered to our customers. Thanks for watching our virtual retread plant tour. As a full service commercial dealer, this is just part of what we offer in addition to new and used OTR tires, new truck tires, passenger and light truck tires, steel wheel reconditioning, and aluminum wheel finishing. If you'd like to learn more, please reach out to your salesman or go to www.goodtire.com. Thank you.